Hey Pyros, Tim Reineke with Fireworks Don Show, and if you've ever wondered how to combine multiple MP3 files together into one to use in Cobra Show Creator, you're gonna want to stick around. Okay, so the basic battle plan is we're gonna use a software program called Audacity. And the best thing about it is it's absolutely free. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you need to go ahead and download that beforehand. Um, then I'll walk you through a real quick scenario of buying some music through amazon.com. Um, that way, again, we know we're getting high quality audio out of the gate. Um, we'll then download those uh, files to our computer import them uh, into Audacity. We'll merge them all together in one file and then export them for use uh, in Cobra Show Creator or your uh, audio box, obviously, after you're done scripting. So uh, if you're ready to go, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about very briefly is audio quality and how you determine uh, what is good audio, right? Um, so I'm gonna navigate out to my music directory. So you just need to find where you get your music on your computer for this. And if you right click on any MP3 file uh, in your computer and you go to properties, and then the details tab, um, there'll be this section called bitrate, and that is the measure of the quality of the audio. And so uh, as a general benchmark, you want everything to uh, kind of rest between 128 kilobits per second, which is what that stands for, and 320. If you've got audio falling within this range, you really don't have to worry about anything else. And anything you're downloading off of Amazon.com, which we're going to do here in a minute, or iTunes, or any services like that, um, is generally speaking going to fall within that range. You should be good to go. But I just kind of wanted to show you uh, where you would look. Okay, so I'm going to boot up our web browser, and we'll head over to Amazon.com, uh, which is where we're actually going to be purchasing our music from. You can use really any music service that you're comfortable with. Again, I'm just going to use Amazon in this case. Um, and uh, specifically with Amazon, you'll want to filter down. You'll click this drop down here, and one or two clicks will get you down to digital music. That'll just filter through all of their music, and you won't get all of the, the other stuff if something inadvertently related. Um, okay, so uh, for this example, I'm going to type in an artist, maybe like Atomic, or Thomas Birgerson. If you've never heard of him, absolutely wicked orchestral work for uh, pyro musicals, just wicked work in general, but um, I'd certainly invite you to, to listen to a few of his things. They're absolutely crazy. Um, so you can search by artist. Uh, you can search by artist and song name. You know, so he's got an album called Sun, but he's also got a song as well called Sun. So it's kind of filtering all that. Um, you can search just by song, again, if it's popular enough. So like shoot to thrill, we'll bring up uh, ACDC, for example. Um, yeah, so a lot of different ways you can search. You can search by album name too. Um, so just type in what you're looking for and generally it'll hit the nail on the head. Um, but let's go back to uh, Thomas and uh, that Sun song, for example. And you can preview this stuff by clicking on the play button in front of it. Okay, so pretty easy stuff. And then when you're, you're ready to buy, um, you can click on the 99 cents or whatever they are uh, to buy it um, immediately. Or if you're going to do a little bit of shopping, let's say, for instance, you're going to buy three or four songs, um, you can just click Add to MP3 Cart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That'll add that in. Um, you know, next we'll go um, maybe two tickets to paradise. Two tickets, Eddie Money. There it is. Okay, there it is, self-titled album. Um, I'll just click add to MP3 cart as well. And what you'll notice is I've actually already got some in there too. Um, but up in this MP3 cart, it's just simply adding them up. Okay. If you decide later on that, you know what, well, I didn't want Van Halen's jump, you can uncheck that. Shoot the thrill, you can uncheck that. Um, but yeah, you basically just work through your list of songs that you want to download. And once you're all set, um, just proceed to checkout and then um, place your order. And it should be as easy as that. So if you don't have your um, payment uh, information saved, you may have to enter in your credit card details and whatnot, but um, generally it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so then we just need to download the uh, audio that we've uh, purchased. So I'm just gonna go ahead and left click on the download uh, purchases button. 
um, uh, this dialog prompt will come up and you just need to uh, basically specify where the zip file is going to reside. So I'm going to head out to my downloads folder, which I'm in already, and just save it there. Um, and in many native browsers, um, generally towards the bottom of the program, it'll either say open this file or in Chrome you can just click on this and it'll open it up. And you'll notice uh, it actually groups the audio that you've downloaded by uh, the artist. So that's really nice. Now from here, you can right click and go to extract all um, or you can go to the extract tab up at the top here and hit extract all uh, whatever's easier for you and then you just need to uh, figure out where you want all this music stored um, kind of pick a central location if you will so i'm going to browse out to um, my actually i'm already there but i'll do it again just so you can see my fireworks drive and then i've got a music directory uh, in here so i'll just double click on that and then i want these both to be within that folder so i'll just select folder uh, if you have the show extract files when complete checked, once we extract these, it'll simply open up that folder so you can see both Eddie Money and Thomas Bergerson um, are there. So everything should be working. If we load into this directory, then it's sorted by album. Uh, if we right click this, then you can see uh, that these are 245 kilobits per second. So again, very high quali quality audio. You won't need to worry about that. All right. And we'll close out of all of this okay so i'm going to boot up audacity real quick and uh generally the project defaults are uh, a-okay -okay for what we're going to need the main thing that you do need to make sure is this project rate uh this hertz rating over here needs to be 44,100. and the only thing you really need to understand there is that's what the audio box is going to be looking for to play this audio properly so if it's not 44,100, make sure you change it to that right now um, other than that, you should be good to go. So we're going to head out to file and we're going to import audio and we're going to go out and we're going to grab one of those audio tracks. So you just need to navigate out to your computer, um, the right drive and directory. So mine's in the fireworks drive in music. And then there's the Eddie Mo any money and, uh, Thomas Bjergsen that we downloaded. So I'm going to start with Eddie money Two tickets to paradise. We'll import that one. We'll do the same thing. File import audio and then there's a few ways that you can back it up right so you can hit look in and jump back to this music directory or you can click on uh, this think of this like the back button in your browser this will go up a directory up a directory again now we're back to our music directory here we'll load up thomas bjergsen and the sun mp3 and we'll do this one more time import audio uh, back up two directories and maybe two steps from hell, battle cry, and flight of the silver bird. So those will be the three files uh, that we're going to work with. Okay, so first let me run you through the basics of Audacity very, very quickly. Kind of get you familiar with the interface if you've never used it before. Um, so you've got play, pause, and stop in the upper left-hand corner. These do exactly what you'd think they would do. Uh, then you've got uh, skip to start, which will kick your playhead. And I'll explain playhead here in a minute um, to the beginning of your audio file and then uh, skip to end, we'll kick that playhead all the way to the end. So the playhead, um, if I click in, left click at about 30 seconds here, you'll see this gray line. Um, what the playhead is, is think of it kind of like the bouncing ball in karaoke, as it, you know, it kind of bounces to the words that you're supposed to be on singing. That's exactly what the playhead's doing, is it tells, um, it's basically kind of scrubbing through the audio file and saying, okay, this is what I'm going to play. It's like an old record player, you know, where you've got the needle, where the needle positioned is exactly what music's coming out. So um, hopefully that one didn't go over too many heads. Um, but uh, so anyway, uh, if I click here and I hit play... You'll hear that uh, literally, both both visually and uh, audibly, those music files are right on top of each other. So you're hearing them all play at the exact same time because this playhead's moving across the entire file here. Okay. Um, then if you want to, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. Again, if we want this to kick back to the beginning, you can skip to start. You'll notice it says home. That would be the shortcut key, home key. Uh, you can click this. It'll click that playhead. You can see that gray line jumped. If we click to the end, you'll see it actually jumps all the way to the end. Okay, it's so pretty easy stuff there. Um, there's some advanced features that you can use. So if I wanted to kind of zoom in at about 115 to 130 of these uh, audio files, I can click, left click, and drag over to 130, and I can say uh, fit the selection. So it's going to basically put this selection as big as it can uh, on my screen. So I'm going to click it. 
It'll zoom into that section for us. Um, you can make then any cuts, deletes, or edits that you need to make. Again, that's kind of out of the scope of this video, but um, that's how you would go about doing that. Um, and then fit to project or fit project will just basically zoom them out um, to the entire width of your screen. So some pretty easy stuff. So that's kind of the basics of kind of playing around, scrubbing around um, in Audacity. So you kind of know how to get around there. But okay. Um, so first things first, we need to get these files in um, consecutive order, right? So uh, this being first, this being second, this being third. And it's important because the workflow that I'm going to have you do, um, it'll actually put the top one first, middle one second, and in this case, the last one third. So if I wanted Sun uh, to be above Two Tickets to Paradise, you can click anywhere in this section here. You'll see it'll actually gray it out, and I'll just move it up above Two Tickets to Paradise, okay? Uh, then what we're going to want to do is in the Edit menu, um, there should be a select all, select all, or control A on your keyboard, okay? And that'll actually, you'll see all of them will kind of turn this gray color, letting us know that everything has been selected. So I'm gonna click on here, it'll deselect the other two, and then if I, I'm holding down control, and then I'm hitting A on the keyboard, you'll see it'll select all three of those for me. And now what I can do is I can go to tracks, um, align tracks, align end to end, okay? And just like that, Sun is now first, uh, two tickets is second, and flight is third. And those would all play one after the other. So I'm gonna go to uh, edit, undo, and we'll do that one more time. So again, I'm just gonna control A, so holding down control and pressing A, uh, and then going to tracks, align tracks, align end to end, okay? That'll put those one after the other. Um, and then what you might want to do is uh, it's always a good idea to insert some silence in the beginning just to kind of give the audio box, if you're using an audio box in your remote, to kind of sync up. So you can do that really easily. If we hit the uh, skip to start uh, button here, it'll kick that playhead all the way to the beginning. We'll go to generate uh, silence. And so then you've got the hours uh, two places, uh, two places for minutes, and then the next is seconds. So this would be 10 seconds in this case, uh, which would be fine. Um, I'll just change this so you can see this will be five seconds of silence. I'll hit OK, and you'll notice it'll push all of these out five seconds for us. Um, so that'll kind of give us the silence in the beginning that we need. Um, you can also do things like fade in and fade out. So maybe, for example, we wanted two tickets to paradise to fade in, okay? Um, you can click on uh, click right before it and kind of highlight a certain amount of audio that you'd want to fade in so you can kind of determine that dynamically again if you wanted to zoom in a little bit you could do that um, but then what we want is effect oops effect and fade in and that'll do that fade in effect automatically for us okay next we had talked about making some uh, cuts in our audio and how to do that and you'll notice kind of uh, the last portion of Sun here uh, kind of fades off for a few seconds and that would be kind of a long extended silence that we wouldn't want so I've actually got that highlighted again so I'm gonna I'm gonna left click in really just before I see that audio trail off there I'm gonna click in here and drag it towards the end okay and then I'm gonna use uh, this fit selection feature that'll zoom me in and so now what I can do is press play and we can hear as that audio fades off. And this, again, would be a really long extended silence. So I want to get rid of this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and stop the playhead. And then I'm going to select about in here. I'm going to drag over towards the end of this file. And then right at the end where it'll kind of snap in, I'm going to go to edit and then delete. And that will literally chop off. Now, again, if we use the uh, fit project, it'll literally chop off and move all this stuff down. So it'll fill in that gap for us. So now again, if I play this. And now we get that nice fade in uh, to uh, two tickets to paradise. So really, really cool stuff there. All right, so this may be all you need, right? This is exactly what we'd want to use in Cobra Show Creator to script to. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, export this file. Actually, first, let's save this project. Let's say, for instance, you ever wanted to come back and make any edits to it later on, right? So, so up in File, 
uh, save project or save project as both will work it'll tell you that uh, this is an audacity project it's not an audio file so you're not gonna be able to play this in cobra show creator this is simply saving this workflow this this setup that we've got currently going on right now so i'm gonna go ahead and hit okay we don't want this to go in the eddie money uh, directory so i'll navigate back out to fireworks and maybe i'll just create a new file uh, or new folder called audacity right and we'll just stick our projects in there and maybe this is our uh, awesome fireworks composition and i'll save it in there so it'll save all of our project data files that we need and, and you'll be good to go you can come back and reopen this file and it'll look exactly uh, like this but if you want to export the audio basically it's going to merge all of this uh, together into one single mp3 uh, you need to go to file um, export audio and then uh, i'll navigate out to our audio directory or to our fireworks directory go into music and maybe we have like a compositions folder i'll just again create this really quick you can stick this stuff wherever you want it um, just for this video i'll do it here and so what you'll want to do and it's recommended to just use an audio box um, file name this will make sure that it's uh the right length of characters everything will work properly when you load it up in your audio box um, and you need to set bitrate mode to constant make sure this bullet point is selected the quality uh, set it to 320 now if you remember we had a about a 250 kilobit file this isn't going to up the quality at all but if you have any files that are 320 it's going to maintain that quality across all of the files uh, and then you need uh, channel mode needs to be joint stereo okay now uh, if you're going straight to the audio box and you're ready to export um, you could actually obviously load this directly into a usb thumb drive that's that's another option and you know what we'll go ahead and do that now so i'll load up this usb thumb drive and we'll save this audio box mp3 right in there okay uh, i'll go ahead and save your tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels in the exported file that's exactly what we want so i'm just going to go ahead and hit okay and you don't need to mess with any of the metadata. You can leave that as it is. So I just hit OK again. And you'll notice it says remaining time about 25 seconds. So we'll go ahead and with the magic of some video editing, we'll speed through this. Okay, so now that that's completed, um, I'll open up. We'll go to Cobra Show Creator. We'll boot this up and I'll just show you that this uh, will load in properly. Okay, we'll basically load this up like we're going to do a uh, Pyro Musical. So new show. Uh, with music and we'll just name this comp like we've been doing for example and then remember I actually ended up putting on this USB drive so we'll navigate out to that and select that audio box file and you'll see this is uh, the entire file so if I go ahead and play through this there's our five seconds of silence to start and there we hear the beginning of the audio track so if I scrub through this real quick, we kind of uh, cruise through towards the end of it, you'll see we've got all three of our audio files in there. So um, that's it, real quick and dirty, uh, three files into one in Audacity. Okay, so hopefully you're confident in merging multiple MP3 files into one. If you like this type of content, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and we're always looking for new material uh, to put out for the community. Um, you know, stuff that obviously is, is very relevant to you. So if you have any suggestions, um, please leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next video.